To discuss, we're joined by the program coordinator from the Peter Maritzburg Economic Justice and Dignity Group, that's Mervyn Abrahams. Mr. Abrahams, thank you for being with us as always. The basket sounds a lot for many households in South Africa in the, for, uh, in the first place, 4,543 rand. Just tell us a bit about what's in there, how this basket was conceived, and then tell us about some of the items that are now breaking the bank, as it were. So good evening, Francis, and good evening to all your viewers. Um, our basket, as you correctly said, contains 44 basic foods that low-income households told us they would like to purchase each month should they have sufficient income to do so. Um, so when we look at the cost of this basket, which is constructed for seven persons per household, because we know that lower income households often are much bigger than middle class households and more people eat out of the pot, then we see a 4,542 rand for a basket of food when about more than 50% of South African workers earn at the level of 3,700 or less, which means that, that this basket has become absolutely unaffordable. The items in the basket in particular that we are concerned about is, for instance, cooking oil, which increased again month on month by about 26 rand and is now 42% more expensive than it was a year ago. We are also concerned about potatoes because it is a core staple food for most South African households. That increased in, in April by five rand and is now 10% more expensive than a year ago. Uh, chicken is a main source of protein uh, for most South African households and that increased last month by 10 rand and 96 cents and is now 13% more expensive. And when we go through the list, it just continues. Beef has increased by seven rand and is now 13% more expensive. And when we look at 2.5 kg of poloni, which is often used for children's uh, 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 sandwiches then for school, then we see that that has increased by three rand and 54 cents over last month. Yeah. But over a year, it has increased by 31%. Uh, so right. most of these foods are becoming extremely expensive. Yeah, and we know that poor households spend a, a, a significant amount more of their overall income on, on food uh, compared to the middle class. So this is so tough. You're talking about things like sunflower oil. We know that wheat was also in focus because of the war in Ukraine. Uh, so are we seeing to what extent now the war is playing a role here? Although, of course, food prices were already rising before that. Yes, so they definitely the, uh, uh, the Russia-Ukraine conflict has definitely escalated uh, wheat, uh, particularly so bread prices has also increased, flour has increased, uh, uh, and cooking oil has also increased. But just recently, the government of Indonesia banned all exports of palm oil. And that means that there are actually less vegetable oil on the market. And so we're expecting that cooking oil will increase even more now on the back of, of the yeah. Indonesian decision. Very quickly, the Joburg basket increased by 1.5%, but the Durban basket was up by more than 3%. Then you go to Springbok in the Northern Cape, that was up by 4.8%. Why are there these huge discrepancies between cities or places in South Africa? So when we look at, at Springbok in the Northern Cape, it's, it's of course uh, quite far away from the major centres and so you're spending a lot in, 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 in transporting goods and services to Springbok. So that would be part of the petrol cost which is now handed on to the consumer. And when we look at KwaZulu Natal, KwaZulu Natal has had a number of disasters. I mean, in December we had massive rains which washed out much of our fresh produce. Now we've had floods, we've had unrest, and we are still paying the cost of all of these in terms of the food prices that we, that we consume. All right, how sad. Uh, and when you look at it closely, the average cost just to feed one child, 800 rand per month at the moment, and that basket just going up and up and up. Thank you for that update, Mervyn Abrahams, Program Coordinator at the Peter Maritzburg Economic Justice and Dignity Group.